Good morning. Today is Wednesday, June 10th. And in reading, we have been looking at the book Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs by Mo Willems. And I've read this book for the past two days. I read the whole book to you yesterday. So today I'm going to read another book, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, retold by Jan Brett. And then we're gonna talk about how the story is the same as this and how the story is different. How it's the same and how it's different. So I'm not gonna read this one today. If you haven't heard Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs yet, you should go back to my video from yesterday and listen. Today I'm reading Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And you might have already heard this story, but it's always okay to listen to a story again in case something's different about it. Maybe you've never seen these pictures or maybe the story is just a little bit different. So here we go, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a house of their own in a wood. One of them was little small wee bear and one was middle sized bear and the other was great huge bear. They each had a bowl for their porridge, a little bowl for the little small wee bear, a middle sized bowl for the middle sized bear, and a great huge bowl for the great huge bear. And they each had a chair to sit in, a little chair for the small little small wee bear, a middle-sized chair for the middle-sized bear, and a great huge chair for the great huge bear. And they each had a bed to sleep in, a little bed for the little small wee bear, a middle-sized bed for the middle-sized bear, and a great huge bed for the great huge bear. One day, after they had made their porridge for breakfast and poured it into their porridge bowls, they walked into the woods while the porridge was cooling. And while they were walking, a little girl named Goldilocks came to their house. First, she looked in at the window. Then she peeped in at the keyhole, and seeing no one was at home, she lifted the latch. The door opened before her, and in she went. How pleased Goldilocks was when she saw the steaming porridge on the table. The sweet smell of the porridge with roasted nuts, honey, and berries filled the room. It was so tempting that Goldilocks set about helping herself. First, she tasted the porridge of the great huge bear, but it was too hot. Then she tasted the porridge of the middle-sized bear, but it was too cold. Then she tried the porridge of the little, small wee bear, and it was neither too hot nor too cold. It was just right. She liked it so much that she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks sat down in the chair of the great huge bear, but it was too hard for her. Then she sat down in the chair of the middle-sized bear, but it was too soft for her. And then she sat down in the chair of the little small wee bear, and this chair was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. So Goldilocks seated herself in it, and there she sat until the bottom of the chair gave away, and down she came, plump, onto the floor. Then Goldilocks went upstairs to the bedroom in which the three bears slept. First, she lay down upon the bed of the great huge bear, but that was too high at the head for her. Next, she lay down upon the middle of the bed of the middle-sized bear, but that was too high at the foot for her. Then she lay down upon the bed of the little small wee bear, and that was neither too high at the head or foot, but just right. So she covered herself up comfortably and fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears thought their porridge would be cool enough to eat, so they returned home for breakfast. Now Goldilocks had left the spoon of the great huge bear standing in his porridge. 
Somebody has been at my porridge, said the great huge bear in his great rough, gruff voice. And when the middle-sized bear looked at hers, she saw the spoon was standing in it too. Somebody has been at my porridge, said the middle-sized bear in her middle voice. Then the little small wee bear looked at his bowl and the spoon was in the porridge bowl, but the porridge was all gone. Somebody has been at my porridge and has eaten it all up, said the little small wee bear in his little small wee voice. Upon this, the three bears, seeing that someone had entered their house and eaten up little small wee bear's breakfast, began to look about them. Now Goldilocks had not put the hard cushion straight when she rose from the chair of the great huge bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the great huge bear in his great rough, gruff voice. And Goldilocks had crumpled the soft cushion of the middle-sized bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair said the middle-sized bear in her middle voice. And you know what Goldilocks had done to the third chair. Somebody has been sitting in my chair and has sat the bottom right out of it, said the little small wee bear in his little small wee voice. Then the bears thought it was necessary that they should make a further search. So they went upstairs to their bedroom. Now Goldilocks had pulled the pillow off of the huge bear out of its place. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said the great huge bear in his great rough, rough voice. And Goldilocks had pulled the cover of the middle-sized bear out of its place. Somebody's been lying in my bed, said the middle-sized bear in her middle voice. And then the little small wee bear came to look at his bed. There was Goldilocks, sleeping peacefully, her long shiny braids spread across his pillow. Little small wee bear just stared at her for a moment and didn't say any, anything. But then he cried, somebody's been lying in my bed and here she is. Goldilocks had heard in her sleep the great, rough, gruff voice of the great huge bear and the middle voice of the middle-sized bear, but it was only as if she had heard someone speaking in a dream. But when she heard the little small wee voice of the little small wee bear, it was so sharp and so shrill and so like her own that it awakened her at once. she started and when she saw the three bears on one side of the bed she tumbled herself off the other and ran to the window out got goldilocks jumped and ran away as fast as she could run not looking behind her until she was very far away and what happened to goldilocks afterwards no one can tell but the three bears never saw anything more of her. The end. So that was a, a little bit different than our book Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs. And some things were the same and some things were different. So I'm not gonna have you do the writing part today. You can do it if you want, but I just want you to really think about it with me and watch what I'm writing and we're going to compare and contrast the two books that means tell what's the same and what's different. So let me get our worksheet pulled up and we'll do that together. All right, you should see this paper, which you have. And we're not going to worry about the writing on the bottom part of it. I want you to look at the three different spots. So first I want you to look on this side over here. We have Goldilocks and the dinosaurs. So if it happened in that book, we're gonna write about it there. On the other side, you see Goldilocks and the three bears. So if it happened in the bears book, we'll write about it here. And if it happened in both books, we're gonna write about it here. Right in the middle where the two bubbles cross over each other. So the first part that I want you to think about are the characters. Are the characters the same 
in both books. One of the characters is the same. Which one? Goldilocks. Goldilocks is in both books. Good. So we're going to write Goldilocks in the middle because she was in Goldilocks and the dinosaurs and Goldilocks and the bears. So she goes right in the middle. Then who were the other characters in the first book, the dinosaur book? The dinosaurs, yeah. So we had the three dinosaurs. Remember, if you want to write along with me, you can. But today, if you don't want to do the writing and you just want to watch, that's OK. So we had the three dinosaurs in the one book. And how about the second book? Who are the other characters? The three bears. Good. Now I want you to think about the setting of the story. Where did the story take place? In the woods, yeah. Did they both take place in the woods? Yes, they had the same setting. Both stories took place in the woods. Did they both have homes that Goldilocks walked into? Yes, both had homes that Goldilocks walked right into. Now, I want you to think, the dinosaurs had set a trap to try to eat Goldilocks. Did the bears try to set a trap? No. No, the bears didn't want to eat her. They, they just had gone on a walk. They left. So what we're going to write that in the dinosaur book, they set a trap. But in the bear book, the bears just left. No trap. All right, then I want you to think about what happened when Goldilocks went into the house. In the dinosaur book, what did she find? Pudding. What did she find when she went into the house of the bears? Porridge. Yeah, so that's going to be different because in the one book, she found pudding. In the other book, she found porridge. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. She found pudding over in the dinosaur book, and she found porridge. in the bear book. Good. What else? So then, after the pudding and the porridge, she tries to sit in chairs. Does she try to sit in the chairs in both books? Yeah, she does try to sit in the chairs. And we know that she, she sits in the little bear's chair and it breaks. Does she get to sit in any of the chairs with the dinosaurs? No, they were all too tall. It's okay, we're not gonna write that. We're just gonna put that she sat in chairs in both books. After the chairs, she moves to the bedroom. Now, in the dinosaur book, does she fall asleep in bed? No, remember she hears the dinosaurs and so she doesn't fall asleep in bed. So does not sleep. Does not sleep in bed and in the, the book with the bears does she fall asleep yeah she falls asleep so falls asleep in bed now in the in both books does she run away yep she gets away in both books she runs away And she manages to escape. So that should be it. So if we look at what was the same, just to review it here, if we look at what was the same, it's that Goldilocks was in both books, 
It was the same setting in both books. They were in the woods at the home of the bears. Both stories had chairs that she tried to sit in. And in the book, uh, both books, she gets to run away from the dinosaurs and run away from the bears. She never actually gets eaten or taken by them. So what was different in the dinosaur book? Well, the dinosaurs are dinosaurs. They were different characters. They set a trap. They were trying to eat her. They had chocolate pudding set out for her. And she did not end up sleeping in their beds because she heard them coming before she even fell asleep. In the bear book, that was different because the characters were bears. The bears did not leave a trap. They had just left and gone outside to let their porridge cool, which was something else that was different. They didn't have chocolate pudding. They had porridge. And in the bear book, she fell asleep in the bed and woke up after they got back and still managed to get away though. And that's all we're gonna do today. You don't have to write if you don't want to because I know that's a lot of writing. But if you do wanna go ahead and write it yourself, you can pause the video and try to put down the things that I helped you write today. I hope you like those books. We will do more tomorrow. Have a good day.